oh, I didn't want to leave him. I didn't want this to be the reality. I didn't want to have the man I was in love with wrong. And I knew that I had to leave him. I was just looking at the guy, frankly, because I didn't know what else to do. Amber Heard already had her chance to testify in front of a jury during Johnny Depp's defamation trial. People who take the stand will be required to swear that they are telling the truth and nothing but the truth, as is customary in a court of law. However, there are many cases where the person testifying is actually lying. There is always one side concealing the truth to avoid losing the trial. Let us take a look at some of the instances in the trial where witnesses have the chance of being convicted of perjury. Perjury is defined as a criminal act in which a person testifying under oath fails to tell the truth, conceals it, or outright lies in front of a jury. Lying in front of the judge and jury after they have sworn to tell the truth is a major sign of disrespect to the court and the American people. Because all trials are considered crimes against justice, this is also a federal offense. For example, consider the recently resurfaced interview in which Amber Heard proved she was a Johnny Depp fan, contradicting her initial oath statement. The makeup company also disputed her story about a lipstick she wore, but these are minor inconsistencies in her testimony. Most of us want to know what will happen if the jury believes Amber Heard lied about Johnny Depp's sexual abuse and violence in her testimony. Amber Heard would be committing perjury, a major crime against justice, even for those minor lies. Many viewers of the current defamation trial with Johnny Depp were outraged by Amber Heard's misuse of the words donation and pledge, but did it amount to perjury? Depp is suing Heard for $50 million in lost earnings after she wrote an op-ed in 2018 claiming to be a survivor of domestic violence. This week, under cross-examination by Depp's attorney, Camille Vasquez, Heard told the court that she had donated her $7 million divorce settlement to charitable causes, but she had not. Heard then stated that she had pledged to do so, using the term interchangeably. The video of the exchange quickly went viral, with numerous TikTok videos and Twitter takes being shared on social media. Sources spoke with legal experts to get their perspective on the incident and how serious a mistake it could be in Heard's case. Every chance the Depp team has to expose Ms. Heard as an untrustworthy witness should be taken, said Halim Dandina, a lawyer and former California state judge, especially when it comes to subject that it is likely to make her unpopular with the jury. It may also support their theory that Ms. Heard has ulterior motives in this case. Jeff Lewis, the founder of Jeff Lewis Law in California, agreed that Heard's dependability was at stake. In any case, involving sexual or domestic violence, whether he, she, except for its importance to Heard's credibility, the donation issue is relevant, he told Newsweek about it. The California First Amendment lawyer went on to say, the legal team for Depp believes that Heard's story about the violence has evolved over time. So how do they establish that Heard is a liar? Not only by proving that violence did not occur, but also by proving Heard lied. During Monday's exchange in Fairfax County Circuit Court, Virginia, Vasquez noted that Heard had yet to donate the seven million she received from her divorce from Depp to charity. Heard called this incorrect and stated she had pledged the entire amount. Millions of people have watched clips of the exchange on YouTube, TikTok, and other social media platforms. While the donated pledged mix-up calls Heard's credibility into question, it's unlikely to amount to perjury because that charge is difficult to prove. Perjury requires a person to lie about something material while under oath, Dandina, a partner at the California defense firm Worksman Jackson and Quinn, told Newsweek. Making the statement earlier in her testimony was clearly under oath, but you'd still have to prove that she knew it was false at the time she made it. It would be a tall order to prove that the truthfulness of her charitable donation could influence the outcome of this trial. Perjury is difficult to prove, and prosecutions for perjury are extremely rare, he added. Lewis agreed that perjury is unlikely, but Heard's case remains vulnerable. She is not in serious danger of being prosecuted criminally or civilly for perjury, but her credibility with the jury is at stake, Lewis reasoned. As Heard's cross-examination began this week, Depp's attorney Vasquez received widespread praise for her line of questioning on social media. Both Lewis and Andina believe Vasquez performed admirably in the situation at hand. Camille's cross so far has been stellar, Lewis said. She sometimes follows her script too closely rather than listening to the response she just received. On the other hand, Camille's cross is excellent in terms of pacing, tone, and substance. Examine Heard's body language during the difficult questions. That is a sign of a good cross. 
Dandina concurred, Ms. Vasquez did an excellent job of pinning Ms. Heard down on whether or not she actually donated the settlement to charity. She did not let Ms. Heard obvious attempt to sidestep the issue, frustrate her, or prevent her from receiving a concrete answer to her question. She handled the situation with professionalism and effectiveness. According to Aaron Mink, a defamation lawyer, more and more objective evidence that she is lying about things under oath could lead to a sentence for the actress. He spoke out as the jury in the feuding couple's case is set to resume deliberations on Tuesday at Fairfax Courthouse in Virginia, following their legal terms' furious closing arguments on Friday. Mink told Joe a few days ago that he didn't believe Heard, 36, would face charges for anything she said on the stand during her ex-husband Johnny Depp's defamation trial. I think that this case goes on and we start seeing more and more objective evidence that she's lying about things under oath, and that's when it starts crossing the line into the possibility that she's fabricating fabricating evidence, fabricating photos, fabricating bruises, altering evidence, and then submitting it," he said. Mink warned that fabricating evidence is extremely serious and extremely offensive to the legal system. I would hope that prosecutors would look into it closely, because if there is very clear evidence that she did that, she should certainly be considered," he said. If that was proven, and there are certainly some questions being raised in the trial right now, it could lead to a criminal prosecution and jail time. Lawyers for Depp, 58, have accused Heard of lying about everything from using makeup to cover up bruises allegedly inflicted by the Pirates of the Caribbean actor to failing to donate $7 million from their divorce settlement to charitable causes. It comes after Sean Caulfield, a partner at law firm Hodge, Jones & Allen, told Mail Online that Heard could face a perjury investigation in the UK because lying to a court cuts to the heart of our justice system. When asked if he thinks police should look into claims she lied under oath about donating $7 million, he said, Yes, I think so. While it may not be a central issue in the case, perjury is the single greatest threat to our justice system. So the police may be called in to investigate to demonstrate that any member of the public who lies to the court can be prosecuted for perjury. The defamation trial of Depp vs. Heard has captured public attention and sparked a massive debate about the state of gender relations and the progress of the Me Too movement. After the conclusion of closing arguments on Friday, seven of the 11 impaneled jurors selected for the trial when it began in April spent a couple of hours beginning to deliberate a verdict, but are not expected to return a verdict on whether Heard defamed Depp for a few days. Depp is suing his ex-wife for defamation in connection with an op-ed she wrote for the Washington Post in 2018, in which she described herself as a public figure representing domestic abuse. The Ed Wood actor claims it falsely implies he is a domestic abuser, which he categorically denies, and that it has made it difficult for him to land roles in Hollywood. Heard is suing for $100 million, accusing Mr. Depp of orchestrating a smear campaign against her and describing his lawsuit as a continuation of abuse and harassment. Will Heard and other witnesses be prosecuted for perjury? Let us know what you think in the comments down below. As always, like and subscribe to keep in touch with all things pop culture.